If you are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K. of the Demetra K. Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So Mr. John Sims, who is a black artist, was in South Carolina, uh, Columbus, South Carolina, to be exact. He is there hosting one of his art exhibits that deal with racism. And it is said that his exhibit is and it does rather, confronts the idea and symbols of white supremacy and visual terrorism. Confederate iconography, propriety of Southern heritage and transformative ritual in the context of African-American experience, okay? So that's what his art exhibits entail. Now I say all that to say, on uh, May 17th, police officers woke him up uh, by gunpoint saying that he was an intruder. Now, he wasn't an intruder. He actually was also a resident of the exhibit. And check this video out. Put your hands up now. Let me see your hands. Where? What's going on? Turn and face away from me now. I saw lights in the window. I'm thinking they're coming from outside. And I'm thinking, they're protesters, Confederates, neo-Nazis, white supremacists coming into the space, um, responding to my work and to my show. Shortly after entering the apartment, officers put Sims in handcuffs. What's going on, sir? Why are you in here? Huh? Why are you in here? I'm an artist in residence. You what? I'm an artist in residence. Body cam footage showed Sims was handcuffed for nearly eight minutes before being released. He says based on the situation, this was the best outcome. I could have been shot, I could have been killed, if I moved the wrong way, if I had a medical condition, or you know, I've been sleeping and they come in, I've been startled. And we see countless examples of folks who don't survive. So as you saw there, they did have him at gunpoint. He was detained for eight minutes and then they released him. But as you saw, he protested like, why? why? What are you doing here, right? And so the police officer said that they saw the door propped open and they went in because they thought he was an intruder, right? And so his, as you notice, his art exhibits, they deal with um, racism, right? And it also entails Confederate flags and all of that. And so he said, I thought it was some sort of a protester, the KKK, which it really was the KKK because the police officers are the same thing, right? So he said he didn't really know what to make of it. And so to me, you, you're not going to tell me they didn't know what was going on in that museum. South Carolina, where it is very racist, where the KKK roams free, you don't think those police officers knew who and what was in there? They knew. They went in there to give him a hard time and was probably looking for an opportunity to take him out because, you know, they don't like to be put on Front Street, let alone have all of their um, evilness put on display in a museum. And so thank God that he is alive. Now, Mr. Sims did say the following. While I am very glad to be alive, I know many have never made it out alive. While I am very fortunate to have a platform to respond, many are silenced and ignored. The time has come for, Afri for American policing to be held accountable and reconstructed in ways that puts common sense and humanity first and racist, racist maneuvers last. And so he is very lucky to be alive because, you know, they, they could have uh, shot him and then tried to justify it. Right. But one of the, um, the, the lady who rents these buildings said it's not uncommon for artists to stay here. We've been doing this for 12 years. And so, ah. We know what that was, right? So anyway, you guys, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. The economy and job market are picking up quickly. If you're a job seeker looking to advance your career or if you're an entrepreneur looking to start or expand your business, BrightPathSearch.com has the resources to assist you. For job seekers at any stage, BrightPathSearch.com can perfect 
your resume and cover letter, help you prepare for your interview and offer leads for networking. For entrepreneurs, brightpathsearch.com can help you get access to government contracts or even help you start your business. There's no need to go at it alone. For a free consultation for job seekers or small business services, email j at brightpathsearch.com or visit the website www.brightpathsearch.com. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms. Thank <laughs> you.